Okay, so we are back. Uh, recording is started. Okay, we are back. Recording has started. And this will be mostly question and answers. All right. So we are back. We are back. Now, um, I want to give over to anybody who has questions. Okay, Sister Lavinia. Anybody who has questions regarding the second coming. Also, anybody who has differences of understanding regarding the second coming. So you are more than free to ask questions regarding the end time. And also, if you have a different understanding regarding the end times. You see, one of the things about the Bible is that none of us is an expert when it comes to the Bible. The Holy Spirit is the only expert. But we can help each other to understand where we have doubts. We can help each other to understand where we have doubt. So you are free to ask a question. Is there anybody with a question regarding the end times? No one? I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Um, why a thousand years? Why would Jesus come back to reign just for a thousand years? Yeah. So and then very, for very which after question. then? Hmm. Yeah, go ahead. And for which after? Yeah, for which after the devil, according to your chat now, the devil will try to fight Jesus. I don't mm -hmm. know now if that will be after the thousand years and then fire will rain from, he from heaven and then he'll be thrown in the lake of fire. So, okay. so why a thousand years is the first question. What's the second one? No, that is the only question. All right. For now. Okay. Do, do you still want me to share that picture or is it fine? You have it in your memory? Um, Share the picture. I have another question after you answer that one. Okay, thank you. Sister, Sister Maggie is on fire with questions today, which is very good. We must question everything. We must question everything. Mm. We must not accept anything that is not in the Bible. We must not accept man's uh, um, interpretation of things. We must, we must, we must um, only accept that which the Bible talks about. So if it's not in the Bible, then don't accept. So let's go to the first question. Um, why, why 1,000 years? That's the question. Why 1,000 mm. years? Um, the Bible says, with regards to years and so forth, it says, one day to the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. So to the Lord, it's not much. To us, it is much. But also, one thousand years is enough to prove to the devil that Jesus Christ is the true king. In other words, it's just to show the world how it is to actually be ruled by Jesus Christ. Because this world has been ruled by evil for so long. But Jesus is going to rule. Remember when Jesus Christ comes back and we come back with him. It's not yet the judgment. If you look at the picture there for the 1000, the judgment will be after the devil is let out of the bottomless pit and he tries to fight against Jesus, against God and his kingdom. Then fire is going to fall from heaven and burn him. 
So that 1,000 years, the people who rejected Jesus, they are also going to be ruled by Jesus and us, but it's not against their, it's not on their will. So it's for them to see how good it is when um, the Lord rules the earth. But then the, after the 1,000 years and the lake of fire, now there, the rule is now being he held or being given over by God. Is now God ruling us. And also, that also 1,000 years is also the reward of the cross of Christ. You remember when Jesus Christ came here, he came to crush the Satan's um, head. He has not yet ruled. So he's still going to, to rule. And that is also the reward of victory. This, we call it spoils of war. When you destroy your enemy, you rule over him. So that is it. Not sure if it answers the question. And also, um, if there is anyone who wants to add in, you are more than welcome to add in. Okay, let me post my second question. Mm -hmm. mm. So, during the thousand years of God's reign, of Jesus' reign, on mm -hmm. earth mm -hmm. um what about the question of death like will people still die they will not die the bible says people will look for death but they will not find it so that that thing of uh reproduction it won't be there anymore there will be not there will be no death in fact the bible also says that eventually when we go to heaven we'll be like angels so angels don't reproduce the ones that will be here on earth there is no uh, scripture that says they will reproduce because they will also be looking for death but they won't find death they will live but they won't find death it won't be there anymore so while jesus when jesus comes back for the second time no one is going to die and no one will be born. Is that no what one, you're saying? Yes, that is my understanding that no one will be born and no one will be will be dead. Will die. Why? Yes, why? Because if people are born, now those people who are born, they have to choose again to be born again. When eventually when they reach of age, right? They have to choose again. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So they have to choose again. But I'm also going to give over Pastor John, maybe you have something to add in that regard as well with regards to the thousand years of Christ's reign. Okay. And just before Pastor John comes in, the reason why I asked a thousand years is because um, I just wanted to know because comparing the thousand years that Jesus will reign and the many thousands of years that the devil caused chaos, it's, mm -hmm. it's like there's like an imbalance. Oh, okay. So you would have wanted like 8,000 years of devil chaos must also be, be equal to 8,000 years of God's reign. Is that what you mean? Not, yeah, yeah, not necessarily equal or more. Yeah. If you look at it, and then I'm going to give to Pastor John. If you look at it, actually it will be more. It's just that that 1,000 years. Well, because forever is a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because okay. the devil is not, is not go that thousand years is just a demonstration. It's like, a, you know, when you go test a car, ne? you are given a, a test mm. car. So that 1000 years is just a, a sample of what the rain is going to look like. It's not yet the actual rain. But after the devil is put into hell, into lake of fire, that now is his complete punishment forever and ever. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, Pastor John, over to you if you have anything to add or a different Amen. understanding regarding the end time. Amen. No, it's good the Bible study because we are learning a lot. And uh, when we ask questions, it's for us to know. Uh, questions benefit both the person who asks and those who have not asked but are listening. Oh, it's good to ask questions. Uh, first, I want to, to add a bit on, on um, the last question, whereby if Amadi spoke about, will there be people, uh, will people continue on dying? Or will people continue giving birth, etc., etc.? We can read Matthew 22, verse 10. If Amadi, the Bible, just to ask, please. Matthew 
Matthew. Matthew 22, verse 30. Matthew 22, verse yes. 30. Okay. Um, okay, it reads as follows, verse 30. Mm -hmm. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as for is that even until they don't okay? Okay. Which means, which means if there is no marriage, because children must only come through marriage. Mm. There's no there's no marriage, there's no children. And it goes back to the question that you asked last, whereby when we go to heaven, how we are going to be, like which age are we going to be? Going to be young, going to be youthful, but no marriage, no getting old, no getting younger or babies. All of us are going to be youthful. I'm going to be your brother. You're going to be my sister. My wife is going to be my sister because we are, at the end of the day, we are all brothers and sisters. Mm. That's how, how I'm going to be. In heaven, that's how it's going to be. So, uh, going now to the question of the 1,000 years, I think you concluded it by saying, but why only 1,000 years? And why not more? Okay. Yes. The, I think your, your concentration is not really the 1,000 years, but your concentration is the, the damage that the devil has made as compared to what I'm I'm losing you, Pastor John. Is it only me? Um, I'm also losing him. Pastor John, let me know if you are there or if it's just network. Yeah, okay. I think it's we, we lost him. We lost Pastor mm. John, but hopefully we'll come back. So while he's coming back, um, I will share scriptures that you can write down with regards to the second coming. So the first one is First Thessalonians chapter 4. One. Yes. Um, first Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. Chapter 4. Yes, chapter 4. Verse 14 to 17. Yes. And then Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 21 to 12. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse, verse 21 to 12. Verse 21 to 12 or 12 to 21. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. So Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse. Yes. Um, actually, you can read from verse 1 to 12, not 21. 1 to 12. Yeah. Okay. And then you can also read um, Revelations chapter 2, verse 10. Okay. Revelation. And then this was. Yeah. Revelation. Two. two verse ten. ten. Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and then this was. Go ahead. Oh yeah, no, I was saying, and then this one that we read in the beginning of Bible study today was Matthew twenty-four. Matthew twenty-four, from verse one to fifty-one. Okay, 1 to 51. All yes. Right. So here, and we are going to close at 9 for the sake of time. So now here is a question that I also have for everyone. Obviously, the people are watching 
the recording. So next week, Wednesday, I'm going to ask this question. Based on Matthew chapter 24, from verse 1 to 51, when does the tribulation start? Based on Revelation chapter 24, verse 1 to 51, when does the tribulation start? That's the question. Pastor John, you can you can finalize your 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 thoughts, and then we are going to uh, close. We want to aim to close at nine, but you can go ahead and continue. Pastor Philip, I want to find out. Did you you heard me what, what I was talking about? Yeah, uh, we lost you where you were talking about. Um, when you were talking about, we heard you when you said that that we are angels. That we will be like angels. They don't multiply. Uh, and then you said concerning the 1,000 years, um, then you, you we lost you. Okay. I think because of time, we can maybe pause on that one and then we can uh, we, we can look for another time just to answer that one. Okay. It's not, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. What we can do is we can um, conclude the meeting if there is not any other question, because you can still ask the question, even if we don't answer it now, the next discipleship, we can start with those questions. So if, okay. is there any other question? I have another question. Mm -hmm. Yes. The other question I have is, um, I just want to get like clear, clarity mm -hmm. between the difference between the rapture and the second coming of Jesus. Okay. Uh, we can answer you next on the next uh, discipleship, a clarity between the second coming and the rapture. So we are going to answer you yes. on that one. So that is for okay. us. To go get scriptures yeah. and come share with you. Okay, because I think um, many of us tend to consider it as one event. Yes, there is two school of thoughts. One school of thought says that it's one event, and one school of thought says that it's two events. So we are going to answer that on next discipleship. Okay. All right. So the question that I had for all of us is based on Matthew chapter 24, verse 1 to 51, which is homework now for all of us who are also listening to this recording. Based on Matthew 24, 1 to 51, when does the tribulation start? So that is the question. And then we are going to answer it on next discipleship. Okay, we can close off with prayer and then we continue the conversation also online, on chat and so forth. Uh, I'll give over Pastor John. I think you can pray for us and then we are going to end the Bible study. The discipleship for today. Yeah, we can pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before the Lord, we give you the honor and the glory. Thank you, Lord, for this moment that we have spent in your presence learning about your kingdom so that our lives can never be the same. Thank you, Lord, as we have learned, we are going out to impact other lives, other souls. We are going to touch lives, Lord. May the seed reproduce, multiply, and bring forth and have others. Lord, we also pray for all those that will not join. Some are traveling, some are busy with test exams. Some are busy with work, but we also pray for them that we cover all of them under the blood of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your favor, your peace, your grace. And we also pray, Lord, that the remain of the week may be, be a blessed. May we influence and transform lives. Lord, all our hearts desire may they come to pass. And Father, we thank you that we are part of the people that you have promised that we are going to be with you forever and ever. Lord, we give you the honor and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. 
We also pray for Sister Maggie, Lord, that whatever question she has, whatever uh, thing that she does not understand, may you give her the Holy Ghost to make it to understand that she's reading the scripture. And may you, Lord, enlighten her. Lord, may, may she continue to ask, may she grow, and may she be a mighty woman of God. Thank you, Lord, because those questions will make it to go to the Bible and start reading the Bible. Lord, and you are going to make it clear to her. We thank you, Lord, for her life. We pray also for Sister Lavinia. We give you the glory and honor. Bless her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor John. Thank you, Sister Maggie. Sister Lavinia also joined us. And everybody else. May God bless you who is listening. And may God bless your walk with God. So we will see you again next week, Wednesday. And have a blessed night. Dream with angels only. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. See you next Wednesday. Good night. Bye-bye.